Hi friends, welcome to Breakfast with Bacon. So today we're continuing on with talking about um, immune system dysregulation, and in this case, like really chronic immune dysregulation where various conditions can occur more and more in different layers. The complexity just increases over time. So what might be a, a few things people might deal with? Yeah, I love that. So when it comes to autoimmune, what we really kind of believe, you have a disease process that turns into this autoimmune because you get proteins sloughed off from organs or glands, and, and this ends up being more of an inflammatory burden, and this is how we end up with these inflammatory responses. Now, some of these could be, think about it, swollen lymph nodes, hives, edema, canker sores. I mean, anything from lower immune resistance to like lupus or myasthenia gravis or, or any of these type of conditions that have been in your process for a very long time, and then you end up developing these autoimmune conditions. Right. So we're going to go over three things you can do to work on it. Number one would be what, Claire? Um, so first off, you might want to look a little bit deeper into your blood work and like maybe actually check for some general markers of autoimmunity. So um, anti-nuclear antibodies, ANA, and that's, it's not really something to diagnose one thing in particular, but if those are present, then you know that there's some form of self-attack against the body. Yeah. And so then uh, what else could somebody start doing? Well, and then number two would be always that AIP diet, really cleaning it up. Now, you can always ask, and this is where I would work with somebody to try and get you a little bit more honed in on what could be inflammatory burdens to your body or what could be causing this inflammatory cascade. And then number three, of course, is going to be adding in some vitamins, Claire. So starting out, we have Mediherb Echinacea Premium. Echinacea is fantastic because this is derived from the root of the plant, which is the most potent source of the active ingredients. And then we have Thymus PMG. This is the protomorphogen that supports normal growth and repair of the thymus gland. So it decoys the immune system away from the thymus so it can do its job in signaling out to the, the white blood cells and the rest of the immune system so that they can do their jobs. And then we have spleen PMG. This is the protomorphogen for your spleen. And what's the function of that? To help recycle the red blood cells and the debris that comes from the infection and it acts as your memory center for all of your infections. So with these three products, you've got the echinacea to balance the Th1 and Th2 sides of the immune system, help to normalize that function, thymus and spleen, everything the immune system needs. Yeah, I think that's awesome and it really is. It's almost like being annoyed constantly and then this protomorphogen goes in and decoys that annoyance so that it goes away so that the spleen or that the person that we're annoying can go do their job properly. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what's happening. This is why these are chronic conditions. These are not some all of a sudden you wake up with. This is a chronic condition that you've dealt with an immune for a period of time and now you end up with this autoimmune. So, mm -hmm. and we're not here to treat them. We're here to support them. These vitamins here and this change in your diet is all about supporting that body. Guys, if you have any questions about this, you've got to let us know. This is a very complicated, this breakfast with bacon, but it's very powerful and it's a, good, a bunch of good information for you. So I hope you like this. Share this with your friends and family, and we'll see you guys on the next Breakfast with Bacon. Thanks again.